All right. Wednesday, I put out a video on how to get the whoopsies disease. Uh, I happened to mention if you had any diseases you were having trouble getting, uh, put it in the comments and I'd make a video on it. Well, here it is Friday and I've gotten a lot of <laughs> comments about how people are having a hard time contracting sludge lung. And it's not so much contracting it that it's uh, actually not registering as you've gotten it. So today I'm going to show you the easiest way to get it and how to make sure it registers in your, I don't know, disease category for your atoms. Also, once again, any other diseases you're having problems getting in Fallout 76, not real life. I can't help you in real life to get diseases. I was a medic. I'm <laughs> not going to help you get diseases. But go ahead, put them in the comments for Fallout 76. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. First off, don't be dumb like me and try to do this well hydrated. Stay thirsty, my friends. Don't wear a gas mask or Chinese stealth armor, anything that's going to prevent you from getting diseases. Chinese stealth armor will, will prevent you from getting diseases. It's, it's actually my favorite armor. Be naked if you want. It's like Todd Howard says, it's your story. Tell it the way you want. And if that's naked, so be it. Next up, take some rat away. That helps. Your disease chance greatly increases <laughs> by 50%. Now, fast travel to Belching Betty Mine. All you have to do is stand here until you get sludge lung. But because I was well hydrated, it took me quite a while. So I just roamed around and shot things and had fun till I was thirsty. And then I went back over and it didn't, ha it didn't take too long after that. The other, there is another way to do it. I'll just mention this real quick. Um, find a diseased Wendigo. You could possibly get it, but this is, this is easier than doing that. Now, once you've gotten it, it might not register as gotten. So now you have to get another disease. You could travel to Mama Dulce's and then go into this, the trap building the trap house but this one actually has traps in it nothing musical and you could just run across this board like a crazy person or you could do my method super simple fast travel to grafton dam and just start swimming around in the water it'll be like oh you're gonna get a waterborne disease if you don't stop this and you're like shut up that's what i'm here to do mind your business once you catch another disease, it will register. Ta-da! I don't know why. I think it's a bug or something that it doesn't register when you initially get it and you have to get another disease to make the game go, oh, he, he they got this disease. Now they have another one, so let's just register it. Sure, why not? I don't I don't know what Bethesda and Fallout 76 do. I, I don't know behind the scenes. Now, I've also heard you may have to server hop, and I don't I don't think you have to. I I didn't. But there you have it. That's that's how you get sludge lung and actually register it so you can get the huge 80 atom that everybody wants or something to that effect. I don't know. So have fun getting diseases in Fallout 76 and Sludge Lung. I'm going to go play Plague Inc. now. <laughs> I just downloaded it. So I'm going to go have fun giving people diseases. I know I said I was a medic and I don't do that, but whatever. It's my story. I'll tell it however I want. I thank you for watching. If you like this video, throw it a like. Any questions, concerns, complaints, praise, or just general agitation, put it in the comments section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Remember, be safe out there, and as always, a good day.